I'm going to teach you how to take code you've already written and make a reusable library out of it by compiling it as a jar file and including it in a different one of your projects. Um, I'm doing this because I'm making this little seating chart generator here. Um, these are like seats and you can put names in here and like move them around and stuff. But I would like to be able to save my seating layouts as a file and then reload them again. So I already have uh, code written that makes it easy to like read and write text files. So I want to compile that into a jar file so that I can use it inside this project. So here's my other project that's called File.io and I've got this class called FHS File.io and I've just got a bunch of static methods that let me read and write text files. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on that particular resource or if you wanted to you could actually select multiple resources. Um, and then I'm going to go down here to export and uh, when you first do it, it will appear this way, but under the Java submenu, you should be su you should see something that says jar file. This is just allowing me to potentially add more resources if I want to, but I don't. Um, I want to compress the contents of the jar file, and I think I also want to export my source files, um, and I'll show you what that does in a minute. So I'm going to click finish, and it says that uh, it finished with warnings um, because if you actually look up here, this little yellow box means that there was a compile time warning. Um, but that's I know what it's about, and that's not an error, so that's fine. It's worked. Um, you might be thinking, uh, where, in fact, did this jar file go to? And the answer is it went to the root folder for your entire workspace. So let me show you where that is for me. Here it is. It's inside my workspaces and blank templates workspace, and, and there's the jar file. So you can find that in your own file system. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut that and put it in a special folder that I have for libraries called lib. I'm going to paste it in there. OK, so now let's import it into uh, the other project. So here I am inside my seating generator, seating chart generator project. Um, I'm going to import this jar the same way I would any jar. So I'll right click and go to properties and Java build path. And I'm going to add an external jar in this case. And this is the lib folder where I put the jar file. And there we go. I have successfully imported it. Uh, and so now I can actually use the methods. If I want to load the desk layout from a file, I could say FHS file IO dot and then here are the static methods that are available to me. So I'll do read file as string, and I'll provide the file path that was the parameter for this function. OK, um, if you kind of forget how your class works or you want for some reason to look at the source code, um, if you hold the control key and click on the class definition, it will actually open up the definition of that class so that you can read it. Notice that I, I can't edit it, so this is a read only. Um, and the reason this is available is because when I first exported the jar file, I clicked that little checkbox that said include the source. If you don't want people to be able to see the source, then just don't check that checkbox and they won't be able to. Okay, that's it.